Hello everyone! This video is going to be very different because this video is about a game. It is not about Node.js web development. So what is this game? This game is called Ministry and recently they released a new feature. Well, recently, a couple of months ago, they released a new feature called um, Logic. And basically what is Logic? It's basically assembly code to interact with the elements in the game. It's awesome. So. And yeah, assembly code is not really fun to write. Well, assembly code in quotes, it's not really assembly code. Um, it's not really fun to write, so, um, because, well, first, it's, I mean, it's okay, it's fine. It's a, it has a drag and drop programming interface, like, you can add a read, you can add a, a write, you can, you can, like, change the order. But a, a real programmer doesn't really like this, so I made a... A uh, compiler that compiles JavaScript into uh, mlog, well, uh, aka Ministry Logic Assembly Code. Uh, currently, the compiler is still in development, so it's probably filled with bugs, but it is very cool. You can do many things with it very easily. So let's actually um, let's actually go into the, the my VS Code and. You can see uh, I have this file, my code, my program. It's basically a bouncing ball. It's uh, on the screen bouncing around. It's a white one. As you can see, uh, the draw color is white, RGB value. It, it only, um, it only uh, executes the program when uh, the switch is enabled. Well, the switch in this case acts uh, like a um, a program on off switch so uh, when you uh, switch on and switch off the program will just restart okay so let's actually compile this uh, to compile this you need to actually install the uh, command line tool first it's called mlogcc it is on node package manager and uh, to install it you, you just do mlog uh, no not uh, npm install dash g for global mlog cc and this will have the compiler installed okay so how do you compile after you have it installed it let's actually look at the instructions dash help okay so in the instructions it says that um we we first need the path then the output and what is the path it's a path to the file to compile and the output is the output file path okay so let's actually uh, compile youtube.js make sure you're in the same directory so mlog cc youtube.js uh, youtube.js we're not going to override it we're actually gonna um, uh, create a new file called mlog and when we run this it automatically creates a new a new mlog uh, file for us and all you gotta do is um, copy paste this into ministry so let's actually paste this import from clipboard there you go we have the beautiful code that is uh, that was written in JavaScript. Okay, it doesn't do anything now because we need to add a large logic display and a switch. But it still doesn't do anything because we need to bind them. So let's actually bind them. And the moment we bind them, it works. And now we can use a switch to uh, halt the program and um, restart the program. And there you have it. Um, if you guys have more questions, you can join uh, the Discord channel, Discord server dedicated for uh, this compiler. It's currently called Ministry Logic JS. Doesn't really make sense uh, mlogcc because it's not really a cross compiler. But yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the the Discord uh, server link will be in the description below. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'll also put my GitHub uh, link also uh, in the description. Uh, this video has been uh, very short. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.